Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on January 18th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Thank you for joining me here, getting a world update. What's happening? Well, let's have a look at Lasko 3 as we observed a sun diving comet. It just kind of came out of nowhere, but it was behind the arm when it first came in. And just looking at these images here, you can see another one just to the right of it, both sun diving com comets. And in the last few frames there, you can see it quickly enters the sun. Amazing stuff. Looking at our sun today, the last 48 hours, we do have earth facing coronal holes, southern northern, northern region as well. We have an incoming sunspot region right here. It's pretty active with a pretty deep coronal hole ahead of it. Looking here at outgoing images, large plasma filaments erecting off the northeastern limb there. Looking here, 511 angstroms. Just watching those curls of magnetic and solar energy. Quick look at here, the coronal holes and the deepening one ahead of the sunspot. I want to thank everyone for joining and pressing that play button right now. If you enjoy all of the videos, please smash that like button, share with your friends and family. Looking here at our real time solar wind as we are very low at about 239 kilometers per second. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 31 some pretty excitable spikes overnight, giving us a power of 10, a quality power of 10 and an amplitude of 31. So enjoy your day and be friendly to everyone. 7.77 Hertz. Looking here, last 24 hours for earthquakes, most recently here, 5.3 Kermadec Islands region, as well 4.2 recorded 582 kilometer depth that's the deepest and the 5.3 was the largest the last 24 hours another one reported there in Papua New Guinea very quiet across Philippines plate and north into China except for Turt Mongolia still seeing some minor earthquakes there as well five or 4.3 there reported in Myanmar Russia seeing a five or four point and a 4.8 Alaska minor rumbles there but across the west coast man we, did we ever see some action yesterday through Mina Nevada and as well California and straight up in to government camp Oregon that's right Mount Hood saw about 60 rumbles throughout the day just showing you here on the USGS map where they were and there was about 60 that was reported on the base of Mount Hood. Very interesting. Very interesting. We're seeing the Cascades waking up, I do believe. The Cascades are waking up. Long Valley Volcanic Field is waking up. Just stay aware and prepared. Looking at earthquakes here, we're going to continue on across the New Madrid as Oklahoma had a 2.5 and as well Madrid, Missouri a 2.6 2.8 is also recorded here Central Centerville, Maine Puerto Rico still seeing earthquakes warm 
largest being here a 3.7 in the last 24 hours 4.2 el salvador very active fuego volcano right there south america seeing some minor four points 4.9 4.5 through argentina as well most of the action has been in the united states and northward into alaska 5.4 here recorded south sandwich islands actually that is the largest earthquake the last 24 hours as well 4.5 here recorded in iran 4.6 in greece there we are the last 24 hours let's just have a look at the last seven days and watch china watch china whoa so what's going on in china and are we just getting the major quakes being reported here in north america i don't think all of the earthquakes are being reported something drastic is happening in china something is dra something drastic is happening on the ring of fire right now you can see all of the deep earthquake movements have been all around the ring of fire every continent Stay, stay safe, stay aware and prepared, and just be ready for anything, especially in North America. We are long overdue. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody worldwide being affected by natural disasters, earthquakes, volcanoes, now tropical storms and cyclones and everything. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center. Most recent volcanoes being updated Having a look here, starting out with Fuego in Guatemala, Kluchevskoy in Russia, Era in Japan, Nevada Stichilian in Chile, Popo, Mexico, Sabancaya in Peru, Sangay in Ecuador, Cinnabung, Indonesia, as well as Swiss and Ajima in Japan. Some explosive eruptions reported there today, and as well Semeru, as most of the villages around Mount Simaru were evacuated in the last few days due to large eruptions. So, you know, we really take things for granted sometimes when we don't live in volcanic areas or earthquake prone areas or even cyclone prone areas. Look here, we have a cyclone, tropical cyclone Eloise, who is going to be ripping across northern Madagascar in the coming days and then heading towards South Africa see the five range five day forecast coming up soon as well there's tropical storm joshua and tropical cyclone kimmy who is heading towards new south wales and then not sure where it's going to go from there looks like it might head north again just seeing a lot of strange weather patterns and jet streams Let's have a look at our five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and Meteo Mike starting out here, home base Calgary, Alberta, as we are still seeing above seasonal temperatures, only minus five right now, but they are coming. These cold temps are coming. I can guarantee it. Looking here, low pressure system coming out of Alaska. And it again is going to miss Alberta pretty much and Calgary as we have warm temperatures and dry conditions ahead of it. Low pressure system will bring some snow towards the Great Lakes and across BC and as well Alaska. Watch for the snowfall, heavy snowfall to continue, but as well rain to move into Alaska and some really warm temperatures. We were talking about the intertropical convergence last week or in the last video where I showed equatorial moisture being fueled all the way to Alaska and then we saw this strange low pressure system develop in Sierra Nevadas and then head out into the Pacific and then looks here like the five-day forecast it will be heading back into the United States into the Gulf of Mexico so watch for extreme weather and a lot of rain in the long-range forecast for southeastern parts of the United States and as well, lots of snow for eastern Canada and central regions. 
overlooking Europe, you've got some really warm temperatures as well, moving in probably above seasonal. I'm not too sure, but this low pressure system here will be changing things in the long range forecast. And it's coming straight from Iceland. Watch for heavy snow here in parts of Afghanistan, Turkey, and eastward into Mongolia, northern China. And as well, look at these extreme cold temperatures that are starting to really, really drop across Russia. Minus 58 in some places here. And that will be fueling around because we've still got four months of winter at least. So watch for these cold temperatures to swing around in the long range forecast. Not quite just yet, but in the long range forecast. Low pressure system here affecting uh, parts of Japan and Russia. Watch for heavy snow. Monsoon season continuing across Malaysia and Indonesia, the Philippines. Tropical storm Kimi. You can see here the forecast shows it kind of moving northward again into the equatorial region. But then there's another tropical cyclone developing here. It will be affecting northwestern part of the continent. So Australia northwestern regions watch for cyclone to come and as well watch for Madagascar as tropical storm Eloise will be ripping across the northern regions bringing a lot of rain and strong winds and then watching the long-range forecast it will be scathing the coastline here parts of South Africa please stay tuned to morning dew we will be giving an update on the exact regions when we know that will be affected parts of South Africa. Also looking here, South America, watch for heavy rains and daily evaporation rains to continue. Heavier towards Colombia, Panama, Bolivia, Paraguay. As I've been warning all week, long line of moisture just seems to continue. Low pressure system trapped in there. Crazy days, crazy weather. But yes, watch for these cold temperatures to start fueling across North America. You can see here, five-day forecast. Those temps will be coming down. And once we get a low-pressure system locked into Hudson's Bay, that's it. Winter will be here for good. But watch also long-range forecast here for a system to develop over Oregon and Sierra Nevadas. Could be a pretty decent sizable Colorado low by the time it moves eastward. Leave it here, looking at these very cold temperatures getting ready to fuel around the planet. And as well, the upper level winds, which are really exchanging some extreme cold temperatures with extreme warm. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching today. Bye bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.